It's safe to say I'm not exactly what you would call a Dolph Ziggler fan. Nobody would confuse me with being the president of the Dolph Ziggler fan club. But with all this talk and reports of him wrapping up his WWE in-ring career um, in that career versus title match against The Miz at No Mercy, I did want to take some time and give some props to Dolph Ziggler because I feel that he does merit him and deserve him. You know, this is a guy that started off his WWE main roster career as the caddy of Kerwin White. You want to talk about a gimmick that's on the fast track to nowhere very quickly. Then he was saddled with the comedy gimmick that was the Spirit Squad. Again, something that gives somebody an opportunity, kind of, sort of, but not exactly a bastion of potential future success. I really respect a guy that can overcome... Uh, bad gimmicks and fight back and overcome a company that doesn't believe in him and a company that puts obstacles in his way and makes something out of itself. And I always felt Dolph Ziggler did. The one time I actually did like Dolph Ziggler was back in the day when he used to go up to people and be all obnoxious and say, hi, I'm Dolph Ziggler. I used to think that shit was funny. I actually enjoyed that. You know, but more importantly, this is a guy that was given sh opportunities, but shitty opportunities at that. And found a way to navigate through that and overcome obstacles and the challenges put in front of him. And eventually found a way over the years to get the respect of the locker room, get the respect and admiration of a sense of the fan base. And he got himself over with the audience. And he got himself over enough with the audience to the point where he ultimately ended up becoming a multiple-time mid-card champion and a multiple-time world champion. You know, I, res I can respect a dude like that, even if he's not my flavor as a performer, even if I'm not a fan of him. You know, I look at a guy like Dolph Ziggler, and I see a guy that, for all intents and purposes, shouldn't have been able to do all this shit. He should have been a guy that they had brought in, sat on with those crappy gimmicks, and then they future endeavored his ass. And instead, he stuck it out with the company over a decade, even with demotions down to OVW and everything. I mean, mad props to him. And, you know, if Sunday is the last ride for Dolph Ziggler and the Zigzag crew, you know, that kind of stinks in a little bit of a way. Because he's been a guy that maybe the company's never fully respected and never really truly fully got the chance like other guys have gotten the chance, and in some cases several chances. So I feel bad for him, and I wish him the best going forward. Fooey on that shit! While all that stuff I said may technically be true, it doesn't change the fact that I'm incredibly excited at the mere prospect and the possibility that come Sunday at no mercy, we could be seeing the last of Dolph Ziggler inside of a WWE ring. That's got my nipples hard and it's got my dick erect. This is phenomenal! This is Awesome! And I can't wait. I can't wait for Dolph Ziggler to be the fuck out of the picture. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of his flopping fish ring style. If I wanted to watch flopping fish, I would go to the pet store and buy a couple of flopping fish. Or, in some cases, if I wanted to just see fish or dead fish at that, I'd just go talk to one of my old girlfriends. I'm tired of his flippy floppy fishy ass in the ring and people trying to tell me that that shit's good. Oh, he sells. No, he looks like a fucking jackass. I'm tired of his lame ass fucking promos. I'm tired of the fact that all these years later, he still doesn't have a fucking character. I'm tired of his suspect look and act. I don't know how many times I look at him and I sit there and say, oh, that's something a middle school girl would do. And this is a man in his fucking mid-30s. I'm tired of him, the show-off, I'm tired of him being the fucking rip-off. The next original thing Dolph Ziggler does will be the first fucking original thing that Dolph Ziggler does. Fuck that son of a bitch. Tired of his fucking complacency, I'm tired of his worn-out act, I'm tired of people always sitting there and defending his ass, I'm tired of him wasting a spot that somebody else maybe could do more with. I'm tired of Dolph Ziggler and his fucking lame-ass fans always being like, Dolph Ziggler is awesome! 
I think his show promos are great, and he does stand-up comedy and makes funnies, and he's awesome. I'm tired of Tony all these fucking years trying to tell me that Dolph Ziggler deserved to be a fucking main eventer. I'm just tired of all that shit. So I can't wait. The ironic thing is that what could potentially be his last match in the WWE ring, I'm more interested than ever. It's the one time you could argue that Dolph Ziggler is actually going to draw something. Because for once, he has finally drawn my fucking interest to a match that he's going to be involved in, only because it could be his fucking last. So that way I can say, na na na, sayonara, goodbye, motherfucker. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait as one more time he faces The Miz. I can't wait for the one more time where he faces The Miz for a mid-card title at a pay-per-view. I can't wait for that time where Dolph Ziggler takes one more skull-crushing finale from The Miz. I can't wait for one more time where a man pins Dolph Ziggler on his back. I can't wait for one more time as the referee counts it. And we all go, in unison, and me especially, as the leader of all of this, can say once and for all, loud and proud, one, two, three, fuck Dolph Ziggler! Get the hell out of the WWE, and don't ever come back! That's the best thing you could ever do for all parties involved. <laughs> fuck Dolph Ziggler!